Many of our favorite athletes have powerful rags to riches stories. The history of sports is riddled with true tales of men and women born into poverty and rising from the ashes of their situations to great fame and fortune, becoming legends in the process. For some, the rise takes time, years of slogging and training and getting pushed back down before the golden ticket arrives. And then one spark, one moment, one game, one fight can ignite the flame and rocket an unknown athlete into overnight celebrity and wealth. Davison Figueredo is the current UFC flyweight champion with an incredible overall professional record of 20 wins, one loss, and one draw. Figueredo was born in a small town in Brazil with few prospects and has lived dozens of diverse lives before his career began in the UFC, making money however he could. Cowboy, bricklayer, sushi chef, fisherman, hairdresser, professional driver, security guard, Figueredo has tried pretty much everything to make a living. In his relatively short time in the UFC, Figueredo has gone from a complete unknown in the flyweight division to a seemingly overnight sensation, capturing the hearts of MMA fans everywhere with his unique style along with his persona as the god of war, and he's become a millionaire along the way. How does an overnight sensation spend his newfound riches? Where does all that money go? And what does that say about his future? Like, share, and subscribe to the Ultimate Fighting Network as we find out how Davis and God of War Figueredo spends his millions. Davis and Figueredo has been fighting under the UFC banner since June of 2017. Like most unknown new fighters, his earliest fights came with purses in the low end of five figures and included an amount to show, an amount to win, and sponsorship dollars. This is pretty standard at the beginning of a fighter's career in the organization. Figueredo's debut fight against Marco Beltran netted him $22,500, $10,000 to show up, $10,000 to win, and Reebok sponsorship money. This amount rose little by little over the next several fights, hovering between $20,000 and $40,000. His first six-figure payout of $101,000 against Alexandre Pantoja included a fight of the night bonus of $50,000. Ever since, Figueredo's rapidly rising star has come with six-figure purses, which include sponsorship money as well as fight week incentive pay. His largest fight purse to date was $310,000 against Alex Perez in November 2020. And in his most recent fight, a draw against Brandon Moreno less than a month later, he was paid $210,000. Figueredo has had three fight night bonuses in his three years with the UFC at $50,000 each one of which was hand-delivered to him in cash by Dana White after the fact. He's also been fined $30,000 for missing weight in his first of two fights against Joseph Benavidez in February of 2020. But overall, 2020 was definitely Figueredo's year. In February, he had an estimated net worth of $500,000. Just shy of a year later, that number has more than doubled to just over a million dollars. Current estimates place his net worth at $1,174,500. So what does the God of War spend his money on? While over a million dollars is plenty to spend, sources don't report that Figueredo has any particular affection for expensive gadgets, vehicles, or other toys. But one thing he does spend money on is fashion. As a former professional hairdresser, Figueredo has a keen sense of style and is often seen in expensive suits, shoes, and Cartier sunglasses, especially in interviews. He likes to display and wear his God of War persona in his expensive tastes and shops often for new flashy pieces. <laughs> he say, I told Valido, really, I'm gonna blow out, blow out his credit card because I'm a stylish guy. We're gonna buy a lot of, of things in Las Vegas. After the fight, he's very happy to be here. Uh, you know, go yo, go yo. He's crazy. I'm a stylish guy. He said. I, I know. You, you said that the first report, the primary reporter falar disso foi ele. Esse cara tem estilo. You are the first reporter to say this guy has style. That's right. You remember? That's right. <laughs> At the end of 2020, Figueredo spent significant time in Las Vegas and thoroughly enjoyed the experience. As a result, he reportedly wants to buy a house there so that he can split his time between Las Vegas and his native Brazil. 
Though not much more is known about his properties and housing, it is known that he founded a mixed martial arts gym in Brazil called Team Figueiredo with his little brother Francisco, who was also a mixed martial artist. Sources report that most of Figueiredo's money goes right back into his main passion, his UFC career. He spends top dollar on a stable full of trainers, coaches, doctors, nutritionists, and other specialists to make sure he's in peak physical, emotional, and mental condition before each and every fight. Surrounding himself with these experts is a personal investment, but also a public one. Figueredo has always been very open about his gratitude for his fans and his desire to always put on a good show as the champion and beyond. Investment in his training should equal more victories and more money, but in theory, should also equal more and more exciting fights to keep his fans happy. I'm here to put on a show and I just want everyone to know anytime I go in there, it's going to be a show. I'm going to pour my blood in there and you can be sure it's going to be a great fight every time I step in the octagon. Houses, cars, expensive tech, or will he be like so many fighters and continue to invest in his training to reach his personal goals and please his fans? Only time will tell how the God of War will spend the spoils of his conquests. What do you think of Davis and Figueredo? Comment below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching The Ultimate Fighting Network.